Okay, so welcome to the Vapor Synth installation tutorial for Mac OS. So here I've just pulled up the handy dandy um, HackMD tutorial that um, kind of lays out everything step by step, but we're going to be referencing this as we go through. So the first thing you want to do is download the Vapor Synth package that's uploaded on this Google Drive by clicking on the link. So you'll go ahead and download those. I'll give you a little pop-up that's probably going to say that it's too large and couldn't preview and couldn't scan. You're just going to hit download and then download anyways. And then you can save it to whatever is most easiest for you. Um, for this, I would recommend saving it to your desktop for both of them, just for ease of um, accessing them throughout the tutorial. And then once both of those download, you're going to want to open up the zip files. Um, I think most Macs have the archive or unarchive utility already built in as a default program, but if not, you can just install it from the App Store. It's called Archive Utility, and then you're just going to double click on both your downloads, and then it'll expand the zip files. And then, because I saved them to the desktop, the expanded files will also be on the desktop and you can see them there. All right, so going back to our tutorial, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is open up our terminal app. So you can just search for terminal and find that. And then you're gonna wanna copy paste this command into the terminal. And then it will ask you for your user password and then you'll type that, but it won't show the characters. So just know that after you hit um, finish entering your password, you're gonna hit enter and then it should show that line at the end again. So the first thing that we're going to do in this process is we're gonna install the Miniconda package. So if we go to that VaporSynth um, folder with the date after it, that's the specific one you want to open. You'll find the Miniconda 3 package. And from there, you'll double click to execute. Just follow through all those prompts, hitting agree, continue, and install. If it asks where you want to install it, um, you can pick uh, install for me only, and that should be fine. If not, you can just continue to click through until it finishes the installation. I'm giving, uh, or I'm recording this on my potato laptop, so sorry if everything kind of executes a little slowly. I tried to cut out parts of the tutorial, so if it seems a little jumpy at parts, it's probably just because I'm cutting out the parts where it's loading or buffering for too long. And in case anyone is curious, this uh, Mac Air is running on the Mac OS Monterey, so the latest, or one of the more, one of the latest OS is updated and available. But it should work the same way if you have High Sierra or any of those other ones. All right, so once it's finished, you can hit close. And then if we go back to our trusty tutorial, we finished all that installation. We're going to open back up the terminal app and we're going to copy paste this, um, this command and paste it in the terminal app, hit enter. And then this part takes a little while. You're just going to let it load and kind of do its thing. Uh, depending on how fast your laptop is, it might be um, a shorter amount of time, but since I did it on my potato, it's going to take a little while. So you're just kind of wait until it kind of executes through all these prompts and then at one point it will ask uh, whether or not you want to proceed, hit yes or no, you're going to type Y and then you're going to hit enter and then you're going to let it run and kind of execute through the whole thing again and this could take a couple minutes. But 
basically you'll run, run until it stops doing anything and you kind of see that default command line which is usually just the name of your device. As you can see, there's a lot happening here. I have no idea what it's executing, but it's doing something. And then the rest of this is real. We'll be done with terminal after this, I think. And then we're just gonna mostly be copy pasting and moving a lot of the um, items in the folders to different spots in our computer so that the uh, VaporSynth editor and program knows where to find and fetch all those files and um, kind of configurations and scripts that it'll need to run. All right, so after you see that kind of default line there with your device name and that kind of percent symbol after it, you'll know that it's done um, executing and you can go back to the tutorial. So now we're going to install the VaporSynth package from that same folder, the VaporSynth um, 200809 folder. So you're gonna hit the VaporSynth package, double click to execute, and then just follow all the prompts again as you would when you normally install. It might ask you for your password a couple times, just put those in and then finish the installation. And then after this part is when we kind of do our copy pasting and moving things around. 